59 here in downtown Denver with just a couple of clouds overhead. Yesterday on the eastern plains, we saw a couple of thunderstorms develop that quickly turned severe. Uh, CBS4 viewer Jennifer Gardner sent in these pictures of some golf ball size hail out in Yuma County uh, in Ray. There you go. Clearly golf ball size hail. And once again, out to the east, there could be a few severe thunderstorms during the afternoon or evening. We're not worried about any thunderstorm activity at all here along the front range. It's going to be uh, hot and dry all day long. We're talking 50s and 60s to start the day, but we're going to warm up so quickly. We'll be in the 90s by lunchtime and about 98 for a high today in Brighton, 93 at least in Parker. Uh, Evergreen should reach at least 84 degrees and 96 for a high today in Longmont. Some of the hottest uh, weather may be there in northern uh, Colorado, places like Greeley, 98 for the high. Of course, the mountains, much more comfortable. 70s and 80s there, 90s out on the western slope, and we'll see a few locations down in southeast Colorado approach 100 degrees. You can see a couple of clouds here along the front range. I'm counting on at least a little bit of cloud cover to stick around today. That's what should keep temperatures in the mid 90s. Should we lose more of these clouds? Well, then probably upper 90s for most of us, including Denver. There is a cold front on the way for tomorrow. That'll bring some relief from the heat. It'll also trigger at least a few showers and thunderstorms around here tomorrow in the afternoon, including uh, possibly here in the metro area. Today, because of the uh, dry weather, there's a red flag warning for the entire western slope. And then for the uh, high altitude basins west of Denver, North Park, Middle Park, South Park, we've got a high uh, fire danger there. Red flag warning from noon until 9 p.m. Wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour for places like Kremlin and uh, right on up toward Walden, down toward Hartzell. And that's what keeps that fire danger high. Here's the future cast. And again, late in the afternoon into the evening, a few isolated thunderstorms out on the eastern plains. There is a marginal to slight risk for severe weather, large hail damaging wind, and to a lesser extent, an isolated tornado possible right near the uh, uh, Kansas and Nebraska state lines. And then tomorrow, the threat for thunderstorms comes back to the metro area, including a small chance for a severe storm tomorrow. So we'll be on the lookout for that. Look at how much cooler it gets behind this front, and it looks great uh, for being on the bicycle tomorrow morning, Joel, mm -hmm. and by the weekend, just beautiful weather, highs in the 80s.